Hey Nifty Lettuce, hey guys over at uh, GitHub and Twitter Bootstrap. So um, I'm looking at uh, the fix for uh, the modal window. Um, just wanted to show you what my results were on um, Galaxy S3. So here's the fix on your site. Um, right now I'm on, um, I'm just in Chrome. I'm not emulating anything so uh, I'm just making the screen size smaller. So I'll go ahead and trigger the normal modal. And you can see that it's working now. So that's pretty cool. Now let's try it on the Android Galaxy S3. Let's see what happens here. Alright, here's just a, a screen. I'm capturing the screen from it. So I'm going to go ahead and open up. It's got a really slow frame rate, but um, it'll still show you what's going on. I don't know if it's my application or if it's um, or if it's that I don't know if, if it's the plugin or whatnot but um, I'm gonna go ahead and click this little Yelp button here and I clicked it once it's not going and I click it again it's almost like you have to click it twice there we go and I still get this little white line not sure what that is. It might be my template or something. It goes away though. I wonder what that is though. And you can still kind of see it pop up at the top. So I'm not sure what that is. If anybody else is experiencing that or if it's just my app. <clears throat> and also it's not staying in place. I mean it's scrolling but it's not. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Let me take a look at the code. Let me pause this for a sec. Okay, so I'm back at the uh, JavaScript for the page, and I was going to show you. Yeah, I think it might just be my app because let me go ahead and refresh it. I'm looking at it on just Chrome, and I notice that when I click on it the first time, we get the dark screen, but it's all the way at the top. So maybe this is where I need a little clarification uh, as to where to put the code. Because now that I click it the second time, then it'll come here, right, and where it's supposed to be. So let's mess with the code just a little bit. <clears throat> and I think maybe what I'm doing is putting that in the wrong spot. I think maybe I'm supposed to apply the modal fix first and the scroll fix and then do it that way. So let's go ahead and refresh the page. Make it bigger. Refresh the page. Alright, and shrink it up again. Okay, now, okay, but it doesn't do the scroll. So, okay, let's try this on the Samsung S3. Let's, uh, let's do, um, okay, let's close this. Scroll to the top and refresh. <clears throat> okay. There we go. Now let's uh, scroll to the bottom a little bit and open up a modal window. First touch. Mm, maybe nothing happened. There we go. Mm, still didn't quite work. Okay didn't work so well all right <clears throat> all right let's refresh okay the page let's refresh it one more time let's see okay so now the page is refreshed I'm gonna scroll down a little bit <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and click it maybe I should do this on an emulator and see how it <clears throat> see how it reacts on an emulator but I'm gonna go ahead and click the button yeah it's Something's wrong. Something's not working quite well. Alright. Okay. Sorry about that. Let me go a little slower. This thing has a really slow frame rate. 
<clears throat> the screen capture software, but it's still pretty nice. Anyways, um, so I'm gonna scroll down. I'm gonna click on Andretti Winery. I'm gonna. I'll tell you when I click it. Maybe. Yeah. See, it didn't work on the first touch, and on the second touch, it doesn't. It almost kind of like does something funny. All right, I'm gonna change the settings real quick on my phone. And see. Oh. Let's do, uh, let me pause this for a sec. Let's see, where is this? All right, so I'm back. Sorry, guys. Let's see. Something's wrong here with my screen capture. Let me turn that off. Let me reboot it. Here we go. One more second. Okay. Here we go. Let's go back to full screen mode. Gotta switch the options. I think maybe I should do is pick black. Let me pause this for a sec while I fix these settings. Okay, sorry about that, but we're back. Um, we got all the settings figured out. Uh, I'm just gonna enable the, the touch settings. So I'm gonna refresh the page. Okay, I'm gonna scroll down. I'm going to click on that button there. Frame rate on this is so slow. Nothing happened. Clicked on it again. This time it didn't work again. You almost have to click it three times. I don't know, is anybody else experiencing that? Um, I might have to try this on an emulator. So, pause. Let's see if uh, I can get my emulator running and see how that interacts. It works a lot better, kind of. I mean, at least the image shows up, but I think it's either my application or my implementation or, or something. So, maybe someone can... Uh, can be a little more clear with uh, with the way the the methods are supposed to work. I don't know. I, you don't need to, but this is the way I'm doing it right now. Is I've got the I applied the modal fix and the touch scroll and the uh, I finally launched the modal after this. So maybe I'm doing something wrong. All right. Cheers. Um, let, actually, before I go, let me try. I'm going to pause this and try it on an uh, emulator and see if I get any different results. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and refresh the page. <clears throat> I'm on an emulator for uh, the uh, Android 4.1 platform. And let's try this out now. Let's see what we get. Let's go a little lower. Click. Well, it works in the emulator just fine. Hmm. Okay, so maybe we'll have to... Well, maybe it's just my application. In any case, maybe somebody can... Uh, can point me to the correct use of... Uh, of the the new uh, fix for the modal window, so it looks like it's working. Uh, if at least on the emulator and on and on the uh, the browser, we can maybe test it on Firefox real quick. This is all in Windows, obviously. So let me try it out on Firefox. Real quick. Let's try it. I'm gonna scroll this over. Make it. Well, let's see that. Let's make it yay wide. So where does it get weird? Right there. And we'll leave it there. That's maybe even too small, but we'll try it here. What the heck? Well, it works really good here on the browser. 
But on the touch screen, not so much. Let's go, can we do we still have this emulator back up? Or not the emulator, but the screen capture? Yeah. Alright, one more time. Let's try it on screen capture. Let's see what we got. Hold on one second. I enter my passcode here. Go back to uh, go back to the internet. Okay, make it bigger. Alright. Click out of here. Scroll to the top and refresh. Alright, one more time. Scroll to the bottom. Yeah, I think it might just be the app or the way that, not sure, not sure at all. But once we have the first one, that's been, the first time it's been instantiated, the modal window, then all the subsequent ones just require one touch. That is very peculiar. I think in that case, it's probably just my app. Yeah, because if we refresh it, <clears throat> on the first touch, it's not going to go. Yeah, and even on the second touch, it's not going to go. It'll like open up. Uh, it'll be on the third touch that it'll finally go. And then you'll get that white stripe. The white stripe, I assume, is probably just the way I'm doing my code. But everything else, I'm not quite sure. All right. Thank you very much. It looks like it, it works. Uh, cheers.